Steve Bell, you are holding up the production line. You better find Man, second gear, buddy. Man, I don't know. Man, I don't know. Steve! I don't know if we should do it or not. Fishing trip coming up to Safety Steve. Safety Steve, do the right thing. Do the right thing, Safety Steve. I don't know. <laughs> Do it! I don't know if I should do, do it. it! Come on, man! Let's get this party started! Let's do know. it! Let's do it! Let's do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Hey! Don't listen to that angel guy! Hey! Listen to me! You take that shortcut! You take it! You take that shortcut, man! You ain't got time for this! Well, You've been steam. doing this for years, you man! Do the right you, thing. They can't tell you Your what to do, man! Come on, you. man! Come on, yeah, get up there and get it, man. Don't, love, don't waste love, time. Production, 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 production. Come on, you man. Fishing trip you can do it. Too, safety, Steve. Do it. Safety, do Steve. It. Do the right thing. Making good decisions in regards to safety. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever observed uh, people working and you're like, oh my gosh, uh, I think they might get hurt. Well, that's what we deal with every day. And not only when I say we, I'm talking about we as workers. When we go out every day, there is potential for some type of injury. So you gotta make good decisions. Believe it or not, it takes two or three seconds to make a good decision, and it takes two or three seconds to make a bad decision. But unfortunately, if something was to happen, the bad decision is with us for the rest of our life. Well, that's something to think about. A lot of people don't think about that. So when we talk about making good decisions is, we have to train ourselves for it. We have to stop. We have to assess the situation. We have to look at it. We have to communicate. We have to hold people accountable. And sometimes that's hard, especially when there are coworkers. But when we talk about enforcement, it's really not enforcement. I call it a stand down and or a stop for safety. If you're stopping someone for safety and they know that you're looking out for them, let me tell you what, you're gonna gain, you are going to gain some respect from that person and or that team. Another thing is, is think about the decisions that you make. Decisions that you make even outside of work and in work, everything is true. Any decision that you make today is going to affect you the next day, ladies and gentlemen. And we all have heard that. And obviously we can pick and choose what we choose to make good decisions and bad decisions about. But when it comes to safety and working, every decision has to be the right decision because it can affect our lives. And I know that's deep, I know that's hard. That's why I try to make safety fun. And I want you to just look at every job that you ever do, even at home or at work, and do a job hazard analysis on that job task. Look at how you're doing it, why you're doing it. Look at equipment, machinery. Am I certified to run it? Is it guarded? Do I know what I'm doing? Look at people and procedures. Look at communication to all those people. Look at personal protective equipment. Most importantly, let's look at engineering personal protective equipment out of the equation. It's a big deal. A lot of people don't take the time to think about it, but when you have a serious accident or an injury, and trust me, my experience is after going back and doing the investigation and building a relationship with these people who have been injured, every day they think about the decision that they made. Every single day. Now, if you think about that, I know you've got some decisions that you've made in your life that uh, you aren't too proud about. I know I have. And the people that know me know I have. So I'm guilty. But the main thing is if we can work together and we can communicate together, then if we all make the right decisions at work, then we're going to win. And we're going to go home safely and we're going to have fun. And then we'll be able to make those bad decisions on our own. Have a good day. Check out our YouTube videos and we're going to be doing five minute safety topics and we're going to make them fun for everybody to uh, listen to and or see. But again, if you do like them, please share them.
like them. You know the deal. We're out there trying to trying to promote ourselves and make sure that everybody understands what we're doing. Hey, Team EHS and Employers Health and Safety, as always, we say, if you're not working, we're not working. Thanks and have a safe day. EHS Consultant Services are designed to reduce losses and control those that do occur, while at the same time minimize the customer's major OSHA, MSHA, EPA, and DOT compliance liabilities. EHS LLC in no way guarantees complete regulatory compliance.